Welcome to my channel and today what we have is another uh, boiler replacement, a quick video. Uh, those of you who um, have seen my channel before, it's pretty uh, similar to other videos of this nature, but uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. There's the uh, rating panel and there's your sight glass. You can see we fired it a couple of times. Got a little buildup of a sort of rust and uh, oil mixture in the sight glass. We have our sight glass um, testing drain valve that we like to add. And then we use the plug where it was and we use it to plug off this T right here, which we add under the uh, pressure troll, we set the pressure troll to its uh, minimum uh, setting, a pound and a half, uh, max, uh, half a pound on. And uh, we have a T here so we can take this uh, plug out and uh, test to make sure the pigtail is clear. Um, the outlet on these boilers is a two and a half inch, which is rather nice. I uh, have a long enough nipple so that if you remove the handle on the sight glass, you can spin the two and a half by two T. And this particular boiler only needs one outlet. Um, and we've got a skim tapping here. Uh, it's inch and a half. So this can be removed because the uh, push nipples on the inside are, are only two inch. So we have a two by 30 riser. I've got the VXT mounted on this, partic on this particular riser using a uh, caddy um, copper tube size fittings, uh, split ring, which I removed the rubber. So it makes a nice tight fit. The swing joint. This is the two inch header as called for by the instructions and then a drop and a return. And the return is two and a half inch, so I use the full size because it seems like the right thing to do. I ditch the boiler drain that comes with the boiler because it's utter crap. And I use a full port drain valve there to be able to uh, quickly drain the boiler. The safety relief valve has a uh, union on here, which I can, which can be used to quickly remove the uh, the drip. The returns were repl replaced uh, at some point prior to this boiler. They originally were steel. Somebody put in copper, so I tied in copper uh, the front and rear wet returns. That's where the uh, makeup water uh, goes into. We have a, a quarter turn drain. It doesn't have to be a full port because there's not a whole lot of water here, mostly a gallon at most. Um, I come up with the copper. I have a brass adapter, and then it goes into a street one inch uh, stainless steel L into the uh, Hartford loop. So this pipe is pitching this way and the small rear main is pitching in parallel flow. So there is a swing joint here which allows the pitch to be controlled with, within reason. The same, this is the long main, goes to the end and we have drilled at the top of the main and installed a, a vertical vent. This is a, a number six right now. And uh, that's all we really need for this size. Might increase that to a, a, a C. The next one up would be a D. And of course we've mounted it up on blocks. Uh, the issue with these um, boilers is that the it's four section boiler there uh the probe is mounted there and it is a half inch 
rather than three quarter inch as most probes are. So just want to be aware of that. If you have to replace the probe, uh, you don't get caught out with the with the more common three quarter inch probe size. Alrighty folks, uh, thank you very much for joining me. And if you have any questions, uh, please put them below and I'll try to answer them. And as always, happy steaming and stay safe.